we're just going for a leisurely Sunday drive at the old 4450 here and stack moving. Where are we going today? Hey everyone, it's Sunday afternoon and we're gonna go and get some bales out of the from inside this fortress here. We got some second cut alfalfa that we're gonna do some tub grinding with with some old straw from 2019. And the grinder's coming in on Wednesday, so I figured today's a good day with the front wheel assist here, 4450, and uh, get about 35, 36 bales. We'll put 12 bales with just on the mover. We generally put 18, but these are heavier bales. Around the 1300 pounds. I don't make the heaviest bale in the world. And uh, because that mover can only handle so much, especially when you load it right up. So we'll go and uh, tear some of this pile down as there's some year old second cut at this end I want to get cleaned up and we'll uh, start hauling some bales. Well, I got the my hole opened up here on the piles. I don't fall off the loader here. Here's the bales, second cut alfalfa. Over here, hold on, I'll get my other finger here. This row, these two rows here, I want to kind of try and pick up. They're a year old, and actually, I think there might be a handful of bales right on this end here. It's two years old. But, uh, I want to get them cleaned up and so we have to with second cut alfalfa like this we got lots of deer and around and we pretty well have to make a fortress like this to keep them out otherwise you have nothing but problems There's only one hiccup to using this old stack mover. If you don't get the, if you come in too low like this, or you start pulling back like I just did here, you pop the chains off the rails, and then of course you have, if you don't realize it quick enough, you break the chain. So you gotta kind of really be careful here how you set these bales you gotta make sure you come in and down down <laughs> and then straight back if you possibly can and my camera that I use for 
for bailing in the summer acts as double duty in the winter for when I'm hooking and unhooking either the stack mover here or, or the wagon. So that way I'm not always reaching over and looking back and sure been handy. There, roughly there, I think we should be good. Yep, pretty much right on the money. While we're here, I thought maybe I should show you the, the straw bales are going to grind up. They were baled east of Delow there in 2019 when we had a real wet fall there and couldn't get out any hay out in the marsh. So a guy let us bail up a bunch of straw and and uh, yeah, this has been this stuff has been kicking around since like I said 2019. So so yeah. So I thought better get them used up. So I thought, ah, oh, let's just grind them. They're, they don't think they'll make the greatest bedding, so probably wouldn't make the greatest hay either, but for a blend for the silage, should be all right. We're also gonna try, well, like I said, there's these second cut bales to blend off. We're gonna probably put two of these to one of those. And I'm gonna also try some of these bales here slew hay and rough stuff. I know we did that last year, a lot of cattails and bull rushes and because that was all the only roughage we had. So I'm going to try some of these bales. I know going through the shredder they seem to be taking a lot of horsepower at times. I don't know if you've seen it in the past video there. There was times it was like, especially with the old 886, the 4450 not so much but but it, there was times it would make it snort too, so I'm not sure. Maybe with 500 horsepower on the on the grinder, might be a, hopefully these will go through a little better. Wouldn't mind kind of chopping this up because it's pretty long, stemmy hay to, for a cow to chew on. So that's what we're that's our game plan here. Well, it's Wednesday. Got the bales ready. The grinder's here. Is getting set up. It runs off the truck engine. Uh, I don't know. Can't remember exactly how it works. I think. Oh yeah, that's right. It's through the transmission. They put it in a certain gear with a certain RPM, and they've got a transfer gearbox of some kind. Uh, so they're not. Uh, transfers to the transmission to the PTO of the grinder. Pretty slick unit.
Hi there, I'm uh, the driver for this truck, recording here for 3D Ranch Manitoba.
gets heated with an S bar and the engine gets heated by an S bar. We shut them down for a night. bales over there aren't going to work. We already stalled the truck once. She's really hammering and chewing to get this done. So I guess we're just going to do the straw in the alfalfa. Well, two and a quarter hours later, we got 112 bales done. Henry's just cleaning up here and ready to go and so we did those 36 bales of second cut alfalfa. There was 52 bales of straw. There was, what was there, 14 bales of that prairie hay, that slewy stuff. We, <laughs> that was just too hard. To me, it was just too slow and too hard on the grinder. They could have slowed it down, but I thought, ah, heck with it. We'll just, we'll just put her through the shredder and deal with it that way. And then we put, I thought, well, there's a few of these bales here. It's mostly cattails. It's from, actually, it's from through those trees over there. I think it was one of those videos there on our hand videos. You can see where we got it from. It's some cattails and that that we cleaned up. And actually, some of them fired through pretty good, and there was some green stuff in it. So, so there's what she looks like. Make good roughage for the silage. We'll probably try and put about 10 pounds per cow per day. I don't know, we'll see how it works out with the wagon here because it bulks up fairly quick, but ah, we'll get her done. It's supposed to turn cold next week into the minus 20s for Celsius for a high, minus 30 for Celsius for a low. I guess it's, they say the polar vortex is coming. Well, I guess it's, I've seen worse polar vortexes as long as it's, who knows, we might get minus 35 or whatever, but anyways, we'll deal with it. We got this big pile of feed. We can give them extra. That's what it's there for. Hope you enjoyed it. And comment, like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Almost forgot. Big thank you to Henry from Miami Grinding. I'm glad you took over the phone for a bit here this afternoon to do some videoing because I was practi practicing my uh, NASCAR skills here trying to get those bales in that grinder. She was a fast one. Thanks again. <laughs>